Hello guys and uh, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing some Crusader Kings 2 with the newest expansion, Rajas of India. Uh, so this expansion uh, and th with the recent patch adds a bunch of new stuff. Primarily it adds India and all the cultures and religions that are uh, down there plus you know events and jungles and elephants and all kinds of fancy stuff. Uh, but, it, but it also adds some other things, such as um, some more of Siberia and Central Asia. Um, so the obvious choice for a character to play, I guess, for a Let's Play in Rajas of India would be someone in India. But you know me, I usually try and be a little bit unique, um, so I will be playing as a character in India, although at least I will try to. Uh, but I will not start as a character in India. Uh, instead, I'm going to try and start as one of the new Turkic tribes that have been added to the game. And the one I have selected is the Setusu, which is, you know... Yeah, uh, they are of the Karluk culture and they are Tengri. Uh, but uh, my goal is uh, to sort of... Um, to convert to another religion. The end game goal, I guess, is going to try and to convert to one of these religions down here. I don't know exactly which one. I guess it depends on whatever I have the opportunity to actually convert to. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see how all that works out. So, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything more to say. Uh, let us get into the game. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to sort of try and um, replicate, I guess, something that happened historically. Uh, I guess a decent bit of you guys know about the Mughal Empire, and basically the way that thing started was that there was some random derp in this area, I think, and he conquered a bunch of India and he formed an empire, and that's basically what we are going to try to do here. Uh, I think the guy who conquered it was sort of sort of Turkic, and I think it was sort of related to uh, Timur, who was the guy who ruled the Timurid Empire. And, well, I guess he was Altaic at least, which is kind of like, like you know, Mon Mongolian, Turkic, etc. Those kinds of peoples. Uh, and actually, I think just to make this a little bit more interesting, why don't we just call ourselves nothing less than the Mu? Gulls. Or, well, House Moogle. <laughs> Let us do that. Um, I think that should be fun. Uh, so we will, we will be playing as Atrak the first of uh, the Moogle dynasty. And we will conquer India, and it's going to be great. Uh, although we are in quite a difficult position here in the beginning, uh, simply because we are in the middle of Central Asia, and the big problem about that is that we are surrounded by a bunch of people that are a lot powerful, or lo a lot more powerful than us. Uh, mainly because they, pretty much all of them, start out with some sort of event spawn troops, and for some reason we do not start out with anything. Uh, we do have a decent bit of levy, but still nothing to compare to, like, say, the Yabguid or something like that. Uh, so in order to ensure my own safety, I am going to swear fealty to another person. I'm gonna do Kumania, because they are Tengri, because I feel like if I s uh, swear fealty to Muslims, they're just gonna rage on about my- about the lack of, uh, Muhammad or whatever in my religion, and they will start revoking my titles, and that's no fun, so I will swear fealty to Kumania. Because I think that's the best decision I can do. Uh, let's get married, because that's just what you do. Uh, oh wow, there is literally no one to get married to. Well, I guess this one will do. Well, we do lose prestige, and it is really quite important to have prestige. Well, I guess we're going to wait to see if there pops up any new women on the market after a while. Alright, so there we go, we're now part of Kumania, that is nice. Uh, but I do think we do indeed want to expand our realm though. So, pretty much the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see, can I invade this guy? He has a decent bit of truth, but I think I have more than him, so I think we should be able to invade the guy. Maybe if I uh, increase the city levies, that should help out a little bit. Ooh! The Gazarian Holy War! Okay, uh, well that doesn't bother me, I think, so... I can be Marshal, sure. As long as you don't maim me or anything like that. We are over our limit, which is bad, but I do believe I can marry my way into some nice um, stewardship to sort of make up for that. 
This one looks okay. Carl Luke, my culture, everything. Uh, but she is not of any high rank, though. Here we go, though. Here's a Princess of Kamenia. That's gonna give me prestige, which is good. Because uh, I do need prestige to get access to the Invasion Castle Spelly that you get as a Tengri. Don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I still feel like I should aim for it. And uh, it doesn't hurt having an alliance, I guess. So, sure, let's get married. And uh, let's invade the Kyrgyz. Because that's just what you do as a good man of the Mughal dynasty. I'm saying that anyways. So let us raise the levy. And uh, it's gonna be glorious. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Money or prestige? Uh, I really should get the prestige, shouldn't I? But the money is too tempting. I really, really like money. Because at some point mercenaries might be necessary and as a result of that having access to that extra money really is not gonna hurt. I can become arbitrary or just, I might as well be just, because that's gonna help out with my domain size. A little bit anyways. Um, so we can get the ambitions to become king of Turkestan. And let's get a baby first. Gotta make sure the inheritance, we are quite old, so we gotta make sure the inheritance sort of moves along or whatever. Come on, there we go. Flawless victory. The rise of the Shia within the... what now? The Sultanate of Africa. Alright, that's fine by me. I do not really give a fuck. And here's the thing though, this is so cool. Uh, this is quite a... Uh, this was a recent addition to the... Um, to the patch, which is that whenever a revolt appears now, instead of being a bunch of different duchies that are popping up, instead it, it becomes this sort of unify revolt. That all become unified under the leader of the revolt, and he gets this sort of temporary title called a revolt. That has the same sort of uh, rank, I guess, as the person they used to be uh, vassals of. So that's really, really cool. I I haven't experienced it yet, so but I really love the idea of it though, and I am pretty sure it's going to be amazing. It's not going to be amazing to have revolts happen, but you know what I mean. It's just going to make it all easy, easier. Well, I think sort of the purpose of why they did it was that they wanted to make revolts more challenging, but at least it's um, you know it, it's cooler. I like the whole civil war thing. It makes it more cool looking, I guess. I can just imagine like this huge realm splitting in two and fighting it out. Sounds awesome. But uh, that is uh, nothing we have to worry about right now. We have to worry about only the conquest of these sort of stupid people. Sure, I can do that. We are now a scholar. That um, that works. I do not have the pro any problem with that. So let's just siege, siege this shit and uh, get it over with. I should probably get some concubines. I need... Need babies. Need uh, need a lot of them. Need little cans of babies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's it's levies. It's not taxes. Taxes are good. Don't get me wrong, but you know, sometimes you need those levies to fight your enemies and whatnot. So how's this war against? Uh, ooh, yeah, this is not going well at all. This is this is this. I can't talk. Uh, this is a disaster. Quite so. Interesting. Well, is it? Well, is it? They have more troops. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I have no idea. I will strengthen the realm, though, by invading these people. So, I'm, I'm doing my part. Kind of. Not really. I, we're just going to say I'm doing. Because I want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yay! Pregnant! Go! Happy fun pregnant time. Enforce that shit. And now I have a bunch of vassals that hate me. Can I just take your shit? Oh god, this guy has everything. Oh, that's terrible. But I am his heir though, so can I just annihilate you? You kind of need to die. Sorry about it all, but it's 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 true, you know? I wouldn't do it if it wasn't if I had a choice. Well I would, but I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, this guy's gonna be an issue, because he has a lot of power. Um, a lot of power indeed. Okay, I've, I've claims on this shit for some reason. Can I even... No, I can't revoke. Uh, the crown laws do not accept it. Hey, Mr. Khan. Get the crown laws going, please. I have shit to revoke. 
The Hungarians have settled down. That's nothing terribly interesting. They usually do then. Yeah, I think actually Cumania will win this. Interesting. Uh, yeah, because um, the Cumania has actually been expanded. A lot of this eastern land now that has been added uh, has been added to the Cumanian kingdom. Turkestan as well has gotten an expansion. All of these kingdoms here to the east actually have gotten an expansion. And Tataria is even bigger now. So, that's pretty cool. And <laughs> look at Russia. That is a weird little empire. Weird indeed. But very cool. But it doesn't matter to us. Alright, so now the next thing that I want to do is I want to raid. Why? Because I want to see if I can acquire some of that Muslim... I want to get a Muslim uh, prisoner so that I can make her my concubine. Because you need that if you want to convert to another religion as a pagan. Well, there are other ways to do it as well. But that is one of the easiest one, uh, easiest ways you can do it. Uh, because I do feel like at some point I want to swear fealty to a Muslim. Most likely the Samanid. Uh, I think that just makes sense. Um, so I think that... Me going down here and, you know, acquiring some uh, a Muslim woman, it, it's gonna be good. Because Muslims also get access to invasion, so... Yep, I think this should work out. So let's uh, go raid. I wanna make sure these armies are out of here. Oh, here we go. Good. Limited crown authority. Get some of that. So that I can revoke this guy's stuff. Because he's a stupid person. Oh, there's actually some decent plot power going on here. No one else is interested in joining though, but uh, nonetheless, maybe we can just do it the easy way and just kill him. That would be chill. Uh, oh, we have two duchies now. Well, oh, oh, hopefully we don't get more than one kid. That would be bad. S having a split realm immediately. But, you know, that's... That happens. Alright, uh, no, come on guys, can you get out of here? Okay, can I revoke your, sh revoke your shit now? Uh yes, but he won't do it though. Well, if that's... Well, are you factioning or something like that against me? No. I don't know if he can. Maybe he has a truce or something? I don't know. But regardless, um... I think I'm going to wait and just see if I can pull off this plot. We don't have 100%, but I think it's possible that it sh fires even though you don't. And we'll try and aim for that. Okay, these guys are still here. We have a girl! Gulay! Yay, Gulay! Right, they're gone now. By the way, look at this shit. Turkic Sprite Pack. Yay! I don't like money anyways. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, also I, I, I guess I have mentioned... Did I mention that there has been a face pack? But I guess you probably know already that there is a Turkic face pack. I was really surprised that there was no Indian face pack. I th sort of thought they, it would be. But that was not the case though. You actually got that in the expansion, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you did have to buy the Turkic thing though. But that's fine, I guess. I love Paradox. They're great. Uh, so even though they do bullshit things like that and sell things that, strictly speaking, should be in the game already, uh, you know, and force you to pay money for it. Well, they don't force you to pay money, but you know. If you are a true fan, you buy all the DLCs. Well, you not necessarily, but I feel that way. Well, I don't know why. I, I know I want it, because it's awesome and stuff. I think that's the main difference between like Paradox and other companies. While if other companies like EA, for example, does something total bullshit, and you know, you buy that total bullshit thing, then, uh, oh, my concubine died, oh well. You, you'll just get super pissed, but if Paradox does some bullshit and you buy it, Instead of feeling like you have been scammed or something like that, you know, you're just like, yeah, Turkic unit pack and faces and ah, uh, you know. I don't know if everyone feels like feels it that way, but that's how I feel it. All right, come on, wifey, are you? No, there's no traits here that should sort of hint at her being in, you know, unable to have babies. But you know, just be safe. Let's get some more concubines. Uh, I'll just take them all. Take them all. Babies. Babies all over the place. So, we'll just have to hope that we get some uh, Muslims as a result of this little siege. Uh, yes, we get. We captured someone. Don't know exactly who it was though. Do -do -do, prisoners. 
Alright, Persian Sunni. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Well, while we're at it, we might as well siege, finish sieging the place. No, 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 I'll, I'll be merciful. Just, uh... I don't know. Uh, you, you're my concubine now. Actually, you know, you go away. I, uh, I want that Muslim concubine. Well, can, I can have three, right? Well, maybe I didn't need to do that. Oh, well. But this one actually kind of likes me. Uh, so, sure. You're, you're my concubine now. Or not, she hates me. <laughs> Abductor. Oh, come on, dude. Woman. It's not that bad. Okay, it's pretty bad, but... It's for a good cause. She's spreading Islam. Well, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. Don't know. Well, at the moment I won't convert, but uh, maybe if I can gain my independence. Could I do that? I would love me some of that independence. Uh, no. Not yet, anyways. But that's fine, though. Should we go raid some more? That was fun. I think this guy's off fighting someone. Yeah, he's fighting Karin. Zoroastrians. They're not gonna last long. Most likely, anyways. So let's get some money. Prestige. Uh, yeah, prestige is nice. Let's get some prestige. Oh, well, ah, uh, fucking there. Oh, no, no, we need to go hunting and stuff. <gasps> we gotta get main, though, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I don't wanna die. I wanna have a baby first. Okay, what's this now? The cumin subjugate. Oh, god, the cumins are getting strong. Well, can so strong. Well, maybe I won't be converting to Islam then. Well, it's at least we have the options, right? We we can if we really want to, which is nice. Can we, by the way, invade people even though we don't, even though we're not independent? No, we can't. That's sad. Can we? Well, can we? What what could we do against this guy? Well, we need to get our dudes home first before we can check that out. But it will be interesting to see if we could do some cool stuff to them. But if we're going to stay under, yeah, fuck yeah, babies, man. That's why we're here. <laughs> um, I mean, if we're going to stay under Kumania for a while, we should probably go fabricate some claims. Because that's just what you do. Give her a good tumble. Well, of course you did. That's what you do. My dear High Chief, uh, if you think I let any of our... What? Dude. What happened? Did I die? Did I was kicked out of the faction? Who's this? Oh, he kicked me out of the faction, didn't he? Well, you're a douchebag, aren't you? Well, I sort of get... Well... I can always just join it again. Although, I'm, I'm sort of afraid he will just fire it if I do that. I am planning a special occasion with my lover, but my wife is quite <laughs> insistent. An al alternate plan. Who is more important to me, my lover or my wife? Ignore my wife, visit my lover. No effect. Smile becomes pregnant. Your wife meets your lover and learns about your adult... Ooh. Arrange a ball and invite my lover. We'll do that. Balls for everyone. Fuck yeah. But let's go home now. What? What, 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 what am I doing? Ah, yeah, I'm in trying to murder him. Yeah, that makes sense. What can you... Stupid... He's not even drunk, is he? Stupid shaman. Get your shit together, man. Yay, concubine. Pregnancy. Good. Give me a son. So that the Mughal legacy will last on. Onwards and stuff and things. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to make a plan on how to get to India. That that stuff is important. For now, though, I think I'm just gonna grow within the within the lands of uh, Cumania. Unless they land, actually. Lever we'll reinforcements. All right. Yeah, look at that. Uh, good old Yagboid is actually kind of weak. Interesting. What is this all about? You're fighting against the tyranny. Well, that's cute. Yeah. Because I don't know, I, I think I think I would be better off uh, swearing fealty to this guy, because that would sort of allow me to, you know, try and seize some opportunities and, like, invade Cumania and shit like that. Because uh, I would get, like, Holy War and stuff. Uh, 
Like, I don't know what I have right now. Do I have, uh... No, I don't have jack shit when it comes to cast a spell eye. But I'm pretty confident I will would get uh, Holy War if I... Did the other thing. Yeah, 200%. This might work out. We might even not have to fight for it. Come on, Mr. Guy. Oh, this is perfect, though. Oh, this is so perfect. Uh, whoa, 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 what happened? There's no... What are you talking about? Of course there are... Is the game bugging out? I'm confused. Why can't I faction? What? I don't get in. Seriously, what the hell? Why not? This is perfect! I could totally get my independence now. He has no troops. I could just declare on him, but I don't want to do that, though. I would much rather just do it peacefully. We could pr We have claims? Oh, well, okay. Another dot. Come on! Yes! Okay, never mind. Bonek! Fuck yeah. That works. For me. You're not dead or anything, though. Nope. He's fine. And we have a son now. Yay! Son! Let's get intrigued so that we can try and finally kill this guy. Unless he has an ear now. No, he hasn't. He has a girl. Haha, <laughs> you have a girl. I have that too. I shouldn't make fun of him, but you know. I have a son as well, so it, it, it all works out in the end, doesn't it? Right, I'm really kind of surprised actually how well this campaign started. But I really would like to get that independence though. Seriously, why the hell can't I do a faction? I, I seriously don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, come on, dude. Like, out of all the provinces to see, it, this is the one you want to go? Reasonable man, allow the duel, or not allow it, or banish him. Ooh, money. Money, 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 money. Oh, he has money. Yeah, fuck you, I want money. Did I get money? Ah, oh, money! Can I kill you or something? I don't know. Sorry, dude, but, um... You're... I, you, you had money, but you... Don't judge me, man. You would have done the same. Trust me. Why can't I do independence? Are we... I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm confused. Seriously, there's only a question of time now before this guy wins. And that's gonna be bad. Aww. Fucking up my shit. Oh, there's the victory. Can I start a faction now? Seriously, what the fuck? Seriously, what the actual fuck? Why can't I start a faction? What are you talking about there's no factions? Of course there's factions. There's always factions. Bullshit. Seriously, that's so sh crap. Oh man, though. He only has 600 troops right now. But I really don't have that much more. And it's questionable whether or not I would actually be able to win that. I have no idea. Hmm. Stupid factions not working. I could to I could totally just get out of this immediately now. I'm, pr I'm sure I could just. I'm pretty confident I, if I could form the faction, I'm pretty sure I could just you know. I could just ask for it, and he would just give it to me because I'm so powerful in comparison. Well, we do have money now, so we can buy mercenaries. So I guess we could get our independence, regardless of the stupidity. But mercenaries are so expensive now, that's bad. 900 plus my 900, that should be enough to defeat the guy. But I can't say for sure though. Wait, ho oh. Hold on! You have claims on my shit! Dude! When did that happen? Wait. I'm still the arrow, right? So... Well, now I really want my independence, god. Yeah, I want to be part of the Salmonids. That sounds like fun. Maybe the Suffrids. But I wouldn't really... There's no, like, good way, I guess, I could invade the Salmonids. 
It's all like it, it's all about getting protection. Maybe I don't even need it. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel safer in the early game being under someone. Mm. I can't. Oh yeah, of course I'm because I'm a vassal. That makes sense. Uh, oh well, I'll think about it. Uh, I'll think about it until the next episode because this one is over. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. I don't know what I'm going to call this Let's Play. Eh, maybe I'm going to call it the Mughal Empire or the Quest for the Mughal Empire or something like that. I don't know. I'll come up with something fancy. I'm sure of it. It's going to be it's going to be nice. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye.